Imagine you're deep in the heart of a dense, remote jungle. Your foot suddenly plunges into a seemingly solid patch of ground and you realize you're trapped in quicksand. Panic sets in. But what if you're alone? In this isolated wilderness, there's no one to hear your cries for help. This is excessively frightening. Also, we've all seen it in movies and TV shows, but what would actually happen if you found yourself trapped in quicksand? Let's separate fact from fiction and explore the science and safety of this natural phenomenon. Quicksand isn't as common as you think. Contrary to what movies might have you believe, quicksand isn't lurking around every corner. In reality, it's quite rare. You're more likely to encounter it near riverbanks, marshes, or coastal areas with loose, waterlogged sand. Quicksand is a unique mixture. Quicksand isn't simply water and sand, it's a fascinating mixture of water, sand, silt, clay, and other sediment particles. This combination creates a treacherous semi-liquid state, making it difficult to escape from once you're trapped. Density is key. The key to understanding quicksand is density. When you step into it, you displace water and increase the mixture's density. But here's the catch. If you move too quickly, you can increase the density further, causing you to sink deeper. However, if you remain calm and move slowly, you'll float on the surface. You won't sink forever. The good news is that you won't sink indefinitely into quicksand. Your body is less dense than the quicksand mixture, so you will eventually stop sinking. Most people sink to their waist or hips before they can't descend any further. Panicking can be your worst enemy. One of the biggest dangers in quicksand situations is panic. Thrashing and flailing can increase your chances of sinking further. So stay calm, take deep breaths, and keep your movements slow and deliberate. Rescuing yourself takes time. Escaping quicksand requires patience and technique. First, try to gently remove one leg at a time. Slowly wiggle and shuffle your legs horizontally to increase your surface area and reduce your overall density. Gradually, you'll start to float back up to the surface. You can't be sucked under completely. Thankfully, quicksand won't pull you under like a trapdoor. Your buoyant body will prevent you from being fully submerged, so while it's a nerve-wracking experience, it's not necessarily a life-threatening one. Rescues are typically straightforward. Rescuing someone from quicksand is usually not as dramatic as in the movies. Often, a simple branch or rope is enough to help them out. In more severe cases, trained professionals may use specialized equipment like a vacuum truck to extract the quicksand mixture. So there you have it, viewers. Falling into quicksand is a rare occurrence, and while it can be frightening, it's not as deadly as it's often portrayed in media. By staying calm, following the right techniques, and keeping a clear head, you can escape this natural phenomenon unscathed. Remember, knowledge is your best weapon against fear, and now you're better prepared if you ever find yourself in a sticky situation. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.